a standoff at the Polytechnic University in Hong Kong is continuing at this hour after students barricaded themselves inside during anti-government protests. Now, some desperate students attempted to flee, but police appeared uh, to trap them inside the university by firing tear gas and rubber bullets on those who attempted to leave. Up to 800 protesters gathered on the campus, some of them carrying homemade weapons like petrol bombs and bows and arrows. Police threatened to use live ammunition if they failed to disarm themselves. For the very latest, let's go live now to our correspondent on the ground, Charlotte Chelsea Pill. Uh, Charlotte, what's the latest where you are? Brian, this is without a doubt one of the most highly charged 24 hours of this five-month protest movement so far. Now, where I'm standing is a few hundred meters away from that university where that standoff is still ongoing. Where I'm standing, there are still numerous riot police uh, walking around. We've seen a number of people uh, being arrested or, or led away with their hands uh, tied behind their backs. At the university, even more violent scenes going on at the moment. Protesters have been told to leave the campus area as they've attempted to run through past police, though they've been met by, uh, by tear gas and arrest by those police officers. We're seeing images of protesters being tackled to the ground, some of them dragged across the floor during that arrest. We're hearing from protesters that they're simply too afraid to leave the university at the moment. The charges that they face could carry up to 10 years in prison. So there is a real uh, tension unfolding at the university at the moment. We're hearing as well that they've been there for hours now overnight many of them they are running out of resources it's going to remain to see how remain to be seen how long they are able to to stay inside the university campus or whether some are simply going to have to try and surrender or, or make a break for it through the police lines uh, uh, charlotte all of that debris we're seeing behind you the the bricks on the ground a, a testament to what happened last night we have some video of of those dramatic and often violent scenes uh, let's take a look at that right now Police move in, but protesters set the entrance to Hong Kong Polytechnic University ablaze, forcing them to retreat. Police made some arrests, and some students were injured. Despite the dramatic and disturbing images, the night passed without serious bloodshed, something many had feared over the weekend. It remained a fiery stalemate. Hundreds of students inside the university versus the police. The protesters using a host of weapons, including Molotov cocktails, slingshots, and even bows and arrows to keep the police at bay. The students are determined. Just, it's a wars, it's a wars, wars. I've already written my will. But I trust that my fellow students will keep the protests going. Many of us here are exhausted, just like I am. I was sprayed by water cannon, and it is still very painful. But I keep going. Hong Kong authorities and the university called for an end to the confrontation and for de-escalation. But the situation remains tense. The protests, which have become a broadly anti-government and anti-police violence movement, have been raging for five months now. People in Hong Kong are split on the matter, but many continue to support the predominantly student-led protests. It all started with protesters wanting to safeguard Hong Kong's autonomy, but Beijing showing no sign of changing its stance towards the territory. Charlotte, uh, what do these latest developments mean uh, in terms of the big picture of the protests in, in Hong Kong? Is this violence that we're seeing, this new escalation, a new normal?
Well, this week really has been extremely chaotic. There had been a bit of a lull the week before where it seemed like the, the number of violent clashes that were taking place on the streets uh, had died down a little bit. This week, though, we have seen numerous people uh, critically injured in these clashes. We've seen uh, one man who, who lost his life after he was hit uh, by a brick. There have been other fatalities that have been reported as well. Just yesterday, a police officer was shot in the leg with an arrow. This is becoming increasingly dangerous on the streets here. And now what is lingering over these protests and has been overnight and through today is this warning that came from police late uh, last night that they were prepared to use live ammunition if those protesters hold up at the university at the moment didn't put down their weapons. That is something that has alarmed a lot of people uh, on the streets here, that this could become yet more violent, that we could see uh, more bloodshed here on the streets of Hong Kong. A number of parents gathered out outside that university at the moment, uh, pleading with police to, to act with restraint. Uh, very, very upsetting scenes for those parents there. Charlotte, there has been something of, of a boost for the protesters. It comes in the form of a court decision. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise decision uh, by the High Court here. It ruled that a ban that was imposed under emergency regulations by authorities back in October on protesters wearing face masks was unconstitutional. Now, not many people had been expecting that ruling to come forward after it was the challenge, the legal challenge to the face mask ban was brought by pro-democracy lawmakers. But it really is something of a small victory for some of the uh, protesters here. It must be said, though, that despite Despite the fact that this ban has been in place, it hasn't stopped protesters wearing those those face masks as they take part in these protests and are, and are hit routinely with tear gas, many of them as well, trying to hide their identities. Charlotte, thanks very much for that from Hong Kong today.